what is ma'am a union mt a union mt is also a only because mt set is a element of all the sets the elements which are there in a but it should be not there in b that is going to be known as a minus b find intersection 5 that means intersection of any two mt set is also empty set only the subsets of all the sets are going to be known as the universal set hello dear students i everyone my name is vibha mathematics faculty at vidyashram pre university college the temple of excellence mysuru in the last session we have studied what do you mean by a sets isn't it and then how to do the simple problems on the sets and what do you mean by a power sets isn't it how we are going to write the cardinal number isn't it now in this session of the topic called the sets relations and functions we are going to have the session 2 then what we are going to study in the session third years we are going to have operations on sets okay so operations on set means how we are going to do the union when the two sets are given how we are going to do the operations on them okay so let us move on to the operation one by one which is nothing but first one is union of sets union of sets means there will be given a two sets okay and then you are going to have the elements on the sets that elements you are going to write combinedly as one set that is going to be go, uh, known as the union of two sets okay what is the definition then dears definition is like this let a and b be any two sets i have taken then the union of a and b is denoted by this symbol you have to note down a union union is this symbol okay union b it is defined to be the set of all those elements which are in a or which are in b or in both okay which are in a or in b means the repeated elements you are going to write it only one time got so that they have given either it will be in all in a or all in b or both a and b the common terms repeated terms are writing or repeated elements can be written only one time repeated elements okay so here we are going to take an example i can take here let a is equals to a b c c this a b c are the elements of a and then b is equal to c d e f are the elements of b then how i am going to write it as a union b combiningly both a and b without repeating the elements so therefore a can be written as here and b and then c c a c and c his both are here only but we are going to write it only one time got repeated elements and then we are going to have d e and then f that's it that symbolically we are going to write it as a union b is equals to the given elements of both a and b and this should we'll move on to the next problem that is a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and then b is equals to 1 to 9 up to 9 means i can take it as b is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay these are all the elements of b what is a union b then a union b without repeating the numbers you are going to write it as 1 2 3 4 you are already it is there only the set b you are writing see the set b it is there 1 2 3 4 already so the therefore only we are giving a definition which are in a or in b or in both you can observe here it is in b only 1 2 3 4 5 up to 9 so their set b is nothing but a union b you are going to have it as is that easy it yes okay we'll move on to the next what is a note we are going to have it as when it comes to the part of the union so we are going to have a union a that means the set union to itself is going to be the same set are you getting this one so a union a we are going to have it as suppose a is equal to if you are going to have it as 1 2 3 what is a union a a union a will be is equal to same a union a that is 1 2 3 union 1 2 3 what you are going to have 
the common R123 only. So what you are going to get? A union A is nothing but A only you are going to get it as understood. This is what the notification you have to make under the union of two sets. Then what about A union? What is this ma'am? Empty set as already told you this is the meaning of empty set. Empty set. Okay. Empty set. Or we are going to name this one as null set. Null set. We are going to name symbolically like this also. Two flower brackets written with no element is also no, going to be known as the empty set. Then what is ma'am? A union empty. A union empty is also A only. Because empty set is a element of all the sets. Okay, empty set is an element of all the sets. Therefore, A union, empty set is nothing but A itself. Next, ma'am, what ma'am? A intersection, uh, empty. A intersection, empty set is always empty only you are going to have. Now, you are going to have here, if A contained in B, then A union B is equals to B. For example, you can take this only, see, A is contained in B. That means the elements of A are in B. That is a subset. A is a subset of B means you can tell us as A union B is equal to B itself. Understood? Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are present in B. Therefore, A is a subset of B or A is contained in B. Therefore, A union B you are going to get it as here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up to 9 number of elements. The same thing we are going to have here the notification then. We'll move on to intersection of two sets. What do you mean by intersection? Intersection means ulta. Ulta means what are all the co repeated elements. Common elements you are going to take and you are going to write it that as an intersection of two sets. Then what is the definition of intersection of two sets ma'am? So if A and B be any two sets, then the intersection of A and B denoted by this one, A intersection B, ulta U. Ulta U is nothing but A intersection B. You are going to have it as and defined to be the set of all common elements. Common elements, dear students, it is nothing but the repeated elements. Okay. If both A and B which are repeated, that you are going to write it as the intersection of two sets. So here we are going to have an example. Let A is equal to A, B, C, D. B is equal to C, D, E, F, G. And A intersection B, what are all the repeated? See, A is not repeated anyway. B is not repeated. B is not in both A and B. Only it is in A. C, it is there. C is here. So you are going to write that element. Similarly, D is here. D is also here. So, that repeated elements you are going to write it as under the intersection of two sets. Understood? So, here we are going give, uh, getting the same example. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. B is up to 1, to 9. What are all the repeated elements? 1 is here. 2, 3, 4, 5. Here all 1, 2, 3, comma, 4, comma, 5. Correct? So, therefore, that are all the common elements you are going to write it under A intersection B. But what is A intersection B here? You can have it as which is only the A part element. So, that is a notification you can take under the intersection of two sets. Then what is the note? A intersection A is always A only and then A intersection empty set is always empty set because under A if you are having any elements A, B, C and uh, if you are having phi, phi means intersection empty set. Here also intersection empty set because empty set is an element of all the set you know. So here also empty, here also empty. So intersection of empty will be under A. It is nothing but the empty itself. Similarly, phi intersection phi. That means intersection of any two empty set is also empty set only. If A contained in B, then A intersection B is equal to A itself. In the union, if A contained in B, A in union B is B. If A contained in B, then A intersection B is A itself. This you have to note down. Okay. We'll move on to the difference of any two sets. What is difference of any two sets? We are going to have it as let. That means A minus B or B minus A. This is going to be known as difference of two sets. Okay. Difference of two sets. So here let A and B be any two sets. Then the difference A minus B is defined to be the set of all those elements of A which are not in B. That means when you are taking two sets, 
you are going to have a minus b means the elements which are there in a but it should be not there in b that is going to be known as a minus b if it is b minus a which are there in b but the elements the, the same elements must not be there in the a that is going to be known as the b minus a understood so here we will take an example see it is also called as a complement of b complement of b what is that a minus b so here with respect to a similarly b minus a is defined to be the set of all those elements as already told you which are there in what is that b but not there in a okay so and it is also called as the complement of a with respect to b a minus b is going to be known as the complement of b with respect to a b minus a is going to be known as the complement of a with respect to b that is another name of the difference between two sets okay so example here a is equal to what i have taken a b c d and then b is equal to what i have taken d e f g h i so what i told i want to calculate now what is a minus b and then b minus a let me clear here only so a minus b is nothing but which are there in a but not there in b what are the elements which are there in a but not there in b you find out the element which are there in b correct a and b what is that d this is a b c is not there here only d is here correct therefore which are there in a a b c but a b c are not there in b that are all the elements of a minus b understood yes that's it so now b minus a b minus a means which are there in b but not there in a that is going to be known as b minus a what are all the elements which are there in b but not there in a d is there correct which are there in b but not there in a means e f g h i that is what b minus a is nothing but e f g h i that's it dears okay so next will be move on to symmetric difference be careful difference is particularly different from symmetric difference let us see the definition of the symmetric difference here so symmetric difference means let a and b be any two sets i am taking then the symmetric difference between a and b is defined by this is the definition of the symmetric difference what is that a minus b union b minus a you are going to do a minus b you are going to do b minus a union of that what is the union of that all the elements you are going to write it under that union isn't it that is what the union repeated elements only one time you are going to write it as which are there in a or not there in or there in b or there in both here which are there in a minus b or which are there in b minus a or both a minus b and b minus a okay that is going to be known as the symmetric difference now here i have taken an example see a b c d set a elements and the elements of b are d e f g h i are the elements of b i need to find out now what a minus b and then b minus a and then i have to do that union isn't it let me find out a minus b what is a minus b which are there in a the elements but not there in b that is going to be known as the elements of a minus b right so here a b c d here d is there so which are there in a but not there in b is only the elements a b c similarly what is b minus a which are there in b but not there in a that is going to be known as b minus a therefore here you are going to have e f g h i that means d is there but these elements are not present in a therefore b minus a is e f g h i understood so therefore both symmetric difference means symmetric difference we are going to define symbolically with a small triangle this is what symmetric see observe here don't think this is a a this is not a, a symmetric symmetric difference okay symmetric difference means a symmetric b we are going to have it as got so a symmetric b that is symmetric difference between a and b is a minus b union b minus a that means both are there in which a minus b and then b minus a all together we are writing see a b c e f g h i so this is going to be known as the symmetric difference 
Understood? We'll move on to the next one. What is a complement of a set with respect to universal set? What do you mean by universal set? The subsets of all the sets are going to be known as the universal set. In the numbers, universal set is nothing but real number. Understood? In the numbers, universal set is nothing but the real number. You have to remember that. So here, let me take like this. I am going to take, let A be the one set. Let A be the one set. And then, then the complement of A with respect to U is the set of all those elements of U which are not in A. That means, which are there in U but not there in A is nothing but A complement. So we are going to define the A complement as nothing but like this. U minus A or A complement or this one. See, A complement is nothing but U minus A. What is A minus B? Which are there in A but not there in B. Correct? That is A minus B. What is U minus A? Which are there in U but not there in A. That is A complement. What is B complement? Which are there in U but not there in B. Therefore, to find out the complement of any set, you require universal set. This you have to remember. Got? So, therefore, universal set is nothing but all the sets, all the elements which come under that set, all the subsets, okay? So, here we are going to have it as A complement is U minus A. Suppose if they ask B complement means, you are going to have U minus B. Suppose if they ask C complement means, U minus C. Like that it will go so that the elements of U must be given and elements of A, B, C accordingly they should give to find out the complement of the respective set. Understood yours? We are going to write symbolically like this A dash. We are going to call it as or A complement. One small letter C above the A we are going to write it as or above the B C we are going to write it as. That is going how we are going to denote the complement of a set. Understood? Now we'll be moving on to the laws of set. For, so if you want for this example, let me explain, explain you with an example. Suppose if u is equals to, I am going to take it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then a is equals to 1, 2, 3. What is a complement? A complement is nothing but u minus a. What is u minus a? Which are there in u but not there in b. Which are there in U means C, both are the 1, 2, 3 is there, 1, 2, 3 is there, correct? Only which are there in U means 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 4, 5, 6, 7 is the elements of A complement, that means U minus A. You understood this one? Yes, dears, we'll move on to the next, which is nothing but algebra of the sets. What do you mean by algebra of the sets? Algebra is nothing but you are going to have addition, subtraction, multiplication as well, and then division like that, isn't it? That is called algebra. Now, here under the algebra, what are the uh, laws or what are the operations we are going to use? First, we are going to take it as your commutative law. What is the commutative law says, dears? See, I am going to take here, let set, if A and B are any two sets, therefore, A union B will be under the union. I am taking here, under the union, then we will be defining under the intersection, okay? So, A union B will be is equal to B union A. Similarly, A intersection B will be is equal to B intersection A. This is the union property for the commutative law and this is a intersection property for the commutative law. So, for both union intersection, we are going to define the commutative law which will come under the algebra of sets, okay? So, here we are going to have A union B is equal to B union A. If both A union B equal to B union A, then they are said to be commutative. If both A intersection B is equal to B intersection A, then it is said to be a commutative law under intersection. Okay. Let me take an example here. Let A is equal to 1, 2, 3. B is equal to 2, 3, 4. What is A union B? We need to find out. A union B also, B union A also. A intersection B also, B intersection A also, right? So, here A union B is 1, 2, because all the elements you are getting, going to write it. The common repeated elements are only writing one time. So, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4. Repeated are 
टू एंड थ्री हियर राइट दैट इज ओनली वन टाइम यू आर राइटिंग टू थ्री रिमेनिंग ऑल द एलिमेंट्स यू आर गोइंग टू राइट एज इट इज वन टू थ्री फोर आर ए यूनियन बी वट इज बी यूनियन ए बी यूनियन ए ऑल्सो सेम थिंग रिपीटेड एलिमेंट्स ओनली वन टाइम ऑल द एलिमेंट्स राइटिंग one time you are going to have it as right which are there in a or in both or in b so here 1 2 3 4 is b union a only therefore these two are equal therefore this is a set under commutative law similarly we'll find out a intersection a intersection b means what the common elements you are going to have it as what are see here this 2 and 3 are common elements a union b what is b union a both two are there in common elements B union A is two and three. Therefore, two and three and two and three is A intersection B and B intersection A. Not A union A intersection B and then B intersection. Intersection means common elements. Repeated elements are only one time. So and then A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. Therefore, this is said to be a commutative law. Understood? We'll be moving on to the next associative law. What is associative law? Says that under the Ah, uh, union under the intersection. We'll see now. I am going to take here three sets. The three sets I'm defining A, B, and then C are three sets. Then A union bracket B union C will be is equal to A union B bracket union C. If these two are equal, then the given sets are said to be a associative law. It holds good for associative law. Next. Under the intersection, same A intersection bracket B intersection C will be is equal to A intersection B bracket intersection C. Understood? So this is going to be under the intersection. Understood? So next we'll be moving on to the problems on the intersection to verify. So here and the union verify the associative laws. If they ask verify the associative law under the union, only the first property you are going to solve. If they ask only under the intersection, first property, second property you are going to solve. Suppose if they ask like this, what is that? Verify associative law both union and the intersection. You have to verify. Let me find out now. First, let me take it as what the left hand side A union B union C. Correct. This is what we are having. So B union C will be the bracket is equal to A union B bracket union C. Correct. First, let me find out what B union C, and then we'll find out A union B union C, and then for the right hand side, we'll first find out A union B, and then under that union C will find out. Okay. So first is B union C. What is B union C? D S. B union C means here this two, three, four, five, six. Five, six is repeated. Three, four, five, six, and then remaining are seven, eight. Correct. This is B union C. What we need to do? A union B union C. What is A union? A union B union C. Which will be is equal to what is B union C? You already know here. What is A? One two three four. Under one two three four union of B union C. One two three four. Three and four are repeated only one time. You are writing all the elements writing as it is. One two three four five six seven eight. That is what A union bracket B union C. Let me find out the right hand side. First is A union B. What is A union B? A union B. Let me call this as equation one. Okay. What is A union B? A union B is nothing but which are there in A or in B or in both. That is going to be known as A union B. So here one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. So three and four are repeated. Writing only one times. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Now, what you need to do again? A union B. What is that? Union C. What is A union B union C? Which you are going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then union C five, six, seven, eight. Five, six is repeated in both writing only one time, and seven, eight is remaining writing all the elements as it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me call this this as equation two. Observe equation one and two. Yes, so same you are having. Therefore, A union B union C is equal to A union B union C. A union B union C is equal to A union B union C. That's it. Is that easier under the 
got union now i have to prove under the intersection isn't it let me take it as under the intersection what is that a intersection b intersection c is equal to a intersection b intersection c first let me prove this one b intersection c is what or let me write the elements of b intersection c see that what is b intersection c which are common common elements are 5 and 6 5 and 6 therefore you are going to have it as which will be is equal to 5 and 6 now you want to find out a intersection b intersection c you may write down the elements of a 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and then intersection uh, 5 6 now you can observe no, not there only elements common elements no common element therefore you are going to get it an empty set because in both no common element means in both empty set will be present it is a common set isn't it so empty set is at a intersection b intersection c let me find out now the right hand side what is a intersection b so what is a intersection b you can observe here a intersection b common elements are 3 and 4 3 and 4 let me write it a intersection b a intersection b before that i am going to call this equation as 1 a intersection b is equal to 3 and then 4 correct what is a intersection b intersection c so a intersection b intersection c correct you are going to have it as first i am going to write 3 and 4 which is a intersection b intersection what are all the elements of c c elements are 5 6 7 8 no common elements only this is also empty set 5 6 7 8 therefore no common elements so therefore empty set is present in both which is that equation 2 you can observe equation 1 and 2 are equal therefore we are going to have intersection properties also holds good in associative understood we'll move on to the next one which is distributive loss distributive under the union under the intersection here also three sets i am going to take it as let a b c are the three sets then a union b intersection c is equal to a union b intersection a union c you can observe a union b these two a union b intersection separately you are going to write it and then a union c a union c that's it very easier right so coming for the intersection intersection will become union union will become intersection that's it see a intersection b union c can be written as a intersection b a intersection b union union a intersection c a intersection c that's it very easier okay this is called distributive loss so you can verify the distributive loss for this one so these two distributive laws you have to verify to try out this to verify distributive i am going to try here for the first property which one this one you can try for the second property what is the first property a try for second one a what is the first property a union a union b what is that intersection c can be written as a union b intersection a union c let me find out first the left hand side and then let me find out the right hand side equation one and two call it as if they are equal then it verifies the distributive loss okay so first let me take b intersection c what is b intersection c you know here intersection means common elements see what are all the common four four five five six six that are the common element therefore b intersection c is equal to four five six got similarly what you are having you are going to have a union b intersection c so a union b intersection c let me write it as a elements a elements are one two three four one two three four you are going to have a union union b intersection c is four five six okay therefore you are going to have it as one two three four four five six so here union union means writing all the elements so repeated elements are writing only one time so therefore one two three four five six this is what the left hand side let me verify now the right hand side what is a union b let me call it as this equation one what is a union b 
A union B will be is equal to A union B means both, right? All the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct? So, similarly, you are going to have A in union C. A union C. What is A union C? All the elements of A and C without repeating the elements. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What you are going to have? 1, 2, 3, 4. Repeated 4 is writing only one time. 5, 6, 7, 8. Correct? Now what is both intersection you are going to have? A union B. Intersection A union C. Intersection means you are going to have common elements. What are all the common elements you are having? See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is not repeated. So, these are not there for the intersection. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is that easier? See, you can observe equation 1. This is equation 2. Both equation 1 and 2 are equal, which verifies the de Morgan's law of the first property. Try to verify the second property similarly. Got Okay, we'll move on to the next one, which is nothing but the De Morgan's law. Okay, De Morgan's law states that if A and B are any two sets, then A union B whole dash is equal to A dash intersection B dash. What is A union B whole dash? I'm going to take, what is, uh, you're going to have A dash? A dash is nothing but U minus A, correct? Universal set minus the given set A is A dash. What is A union B whole dash? A union B whole dash is nothing but U minus A union B. That's it. Okay. This is, then what is A dash? U minus A. What is B dash? B dash nothing but U minus B. That's it. You have to. So, A union B whole dash will be equal to A dash intersection B dash. Similarly, A intersection B whole dash is equal to A dash union B dash. This is going to be known as the de Morgan's of law of the two properties. One for the union, it will be ulta, each intersection you are going to have and one will for intersection, union you are going to have and each under the complement set you are going to have. Got? So, let us see the example. I am going to verify the first property. You can try over the second property here also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, see, they have given the universal set. What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and B is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Verify D Morgan's law. Let me take the first property. What is that? A union B whole dash is equal to A dash intersection B dash. Let me find out first is what? A union B. What is A union B? A union B is nothing but the elements of A and B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The repeated elements are 3, 4, 5, writing only one time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is what A union B. Now I want A union B whole dash. What is A union B whole dash? A union B whole dash will be is equal to U minus A union B. Isn't it? Therefore, you are going to have what is U? U is nothing but 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. And then you are going to have minus A. A union B. What is A union B? This one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Correct? You are going to have, these are all the elements of A union B. Now what is U minus A union B? Which are there in U but not there in A. Okay? See which are there in U. These are all there in A only. Not there in A means... 6, 8, 9. Therefore, you are going to have 6, 8, 9. You can observe here. Correct? You can observe. Right? 6, 8, 9. Only the elements of U. You are not going to consider 7 is there. Don't write 7 because that is an element of A union B. Which are there in U but not there in A. 6, 6. Uh, what is that? 6, 8, 9. Oh, 6 is there. Right? Fine. So, therefore, 8, 9 is the element you are going to have. See, so, 8, 9. 6 also there, 5, 6 also. 8, 9 is not there in A, but there in U. Correct? That is the elements of A union B whole dash. Let me call this as equation 1. Now, I am going to have A dash. What is A dash, dears? A dash is nothing but U minus A. What is U, dear? U is 
Let me write it here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. What is A dears? Minus A. A is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Correct? This is what A. U minus A means which are there in U but not there in A. Which are there in U but not there in A means see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But I am I, not finding 6, 8, 9 here. So therefore A dash is nothing but A dash is nothing but 6, 8, 9. Correct? So this is what A dash. Now let me find out the B dash. What is B dash dears? Which are there in U but not there in B. Let me write down the elements of U. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6. 6 is there. Yes, 6. And then 8 and then 9. B. What are all the elements of B? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Which are there in U but not there in B. You search which are there in both. So see, this is there. 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6. That's it. Therefore, you are going to have B dash is nothing but. See, 1, 2, 8, 9. Correct? Which are there in U but not there in B. It is B dash. Now what I need to do? I need to do this one. A dash intersection B dash. Let me do that one. A dash intersection B dash. Let me write down the elements of A dash. What is A dash? A dash is nothing but 6, 8, 9. So let me write it here. 6, 8, 9. And then B dash. What do you need to have? Intersection. Intersection. B dash is nothing but this. 1, 2, 8, 9. Correct? What is this intersection? Intersection means common elements. Common elements are 8 and 9. Here. Correct? Therefore, you are going to have 8, 9. This is called, let me, equation 2. Correct? What is this equation 1? 8, 9. What is this equation 2? 8, 9. Therefore, equation 1 and 2 are holds good means. Therefore, you are going to have, this will be a De Morgan's law. Try to verify D Morgan's law of the second property ULTA. What is that? A union B whole dash is equal to uh, A intersection B whole dash is equal to A dash union B dash. ULTA you are going to get it as all same procedure you are going to do. Let you try that D Morgan's law of a second property. Isn't it dears? Okay. Oh, what is the notification you are going to have under the D Morgan's law? Okay. A intersection A is always A only. Similarly, A intersection phi is always phi only. Similarly, like as intersection property, you are going to have for the D Morgan's. Similarly, phi intersection phi, intersection of empty set is nothing but empty only. If A contained in B, then A intersection B is A itself. So, this is all the notification you are going to have. Same like intersection under the D Morgan's law, you are going to find it. Do you understood yours? Okay. So, I think you understood this session. So, thank you dear students. You can solve by putting your own problems of A and B sets and then try to uh, find out the commutative law and then associative law, distributive law, De Morgan's law. Similarly, you can find out the union of sets and the intersection of sets. What are all we have studied under this session? Thank you dears.